Well, lads, look, thanks for popping in. Um, it's great to have you in. Thanks, thanks for having us. Yeah. Cheers, man. Very so, exciting um, indeed. Um, now, you've all different music styles. So, Ian, I'm going to start with you. Describe your style to me. I it's quite poppy and contemporary. Um, very melodic and catchy. All right. You know, but, um, but in terms of writing the lyrics, it's... it's I mean, I can't just sit down to write a song. Yeah. Um, I mean, something has to happen or inspire me to write a song, you know, which, which I think is why. So you've no basic method, that's actually my next question. <laughs> you can read well, it. Well, no, maybe not a, maybe not a method of, of what I do, you know, it's just yeah. kind of kind of what I feel at the time or what I'm writing about. And yeah. I've been using Notepad at home and even stuff on my phone as well. Right. Yeah, kind of like something might say, someone to give a song title or, or might trigger you to do something, you know. And it's been many times where I say, sorry, what did you say there again? Yeah, yeah. I write that down. <laughs> Grand, what about yourself, Craig? Um. <laughs> I'd say it's a synthesis of indie rock with electronic aspects and finger picking acoustic guitar. All right. And um, have you any um, method of writing the songs, Adam? No, there's no formula. But I think I tend to start with a concept. Right. And then it kind of goes from there. Yeah, I don't. Uh, there, well, maybe in the past I've had formulas and kind of thinking I need to adhere to a certain structure in a way, but now I kind of just trust the impulse and yeah. intuition and run with it. Do you get compared to anyone then? Has anyone said, oh, you do this like someone? Or... I suppose so. I can't recall now. What do, what do you lads reckon? Um, oh, you're unique. You are you are unique, Greg. Oh, I'm, genu I'm genuinely authentic. <laughs> I don't want to be the one to say it. <laughs> Actually, we were only talking about that last time when he was on. We were saying, like, it, because Barry said he was hanging posters up around the town of Monaghan for the, the gigs we were down there soon. And um, they were asking, who does he sound like? But we, I couldn't compare comparison yeah. to yourself. It is very unique and, and, and yeah, and even like the album that I brought out, kind of all the songs are a little bit different on it as well. Yeah. It's quite eclectic. I don't even know what I'm all about. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Though. Yeah, yeah, I just don't. Don't, is yeah. A bit don't find out. You know. yeah. So actually, you're you 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 you're releasing an album pretty soon. Um, that's right. Yeah. Called Quad Labet. Quad Labet. Yeah, yeah. You're the first one to pronounce it correctly. Oh really? We're, we're stripping it back to basically a guy and a guitar yeah. and a couple of guest musicians on the, uh, along the way. But that's that's what it's all about. Just three singer-songwriters and the name kind of comes from the fact that we've put it together ourselves we've booked it ourselves we've yeah. promoted it and planned it yeah and we got we were kindly got a, a little bit of sponsorship from mcn brands and the two rum so right um, yeah. it, so, so you have a good few dates um you were playing the secret garden cafe in galway uh you've monroe's on 24th and that's supposed to be a big one i heard uh, loads yeah, of people there's great interest nice. in it yeah. people are talking about it and then after you're leaving Galway, you're going into Roscommon, Bray, Port Leash, um, Arklo, Limerick, Cork, Carrick Macross. Oh, there's going to be a big oh, hoogly oh, up there. We'll put that in there. <laughs> 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 and then Dundalk, Monaghan and Dublin. And that's the, obviously the final one then. Yeah. yeah. Not, not bad. So um, you have a good few dates there. So um, how are you getting, you're jumping city to city and all that. So I, I presume there's a lot of couching going on, jumping on people's couch, doing an cheering kind of thing. Well, you signed up for couch surfing, didn't you? Well, I actually, yeah. I, I signed up for couch surfing, but I, I wasn't accepted. Oh, really? <laughs> you're robbing the money out of the couch as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what, what was I saying about Monroe's that I wanted to play it? Uh, yeah, you, were, you said hopefully next time you're down you wanted to get into Monroe's and here you are. Yeah, the <laughs> dream has come true. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's but awesome. also another dream has come true. You went M Wallace Bird. Oh yeah. Yeah, tell <laughs> that's us. great. <laughs> <laughs> He's so relieved now. We can talk about this. Yeah, I met Wallace Bird in in my hometown actually of Carrick Macross. She played at the Carrick Arts Festival there in uh, August of last year. So, uh, and I, I was on the same bill, so I got to meet her then afterwards. Great, great girl. And then we partied till. All hours in the morning, with the uh, with the crew of the festival and all that. So mm. yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. And her performance was amazing. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Ian, so um, do you get nervous when you're performing or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Especially last night because last night was probably the smallest gig I've done in, in a while, wasn't it? It was very intimate and people. It was really attentive audience. Yeah, really mm -hmm. in your face, like you know. So. Yeah. It, quite but they weren't that. intimidating. No, 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 no. <laughs> in your face, no. mad close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Square enough. No, um, yeah, I suppose they do. Every gig, I think it's, I think it's good to get, to get nervous. And I suppose if you're if you're a bit nervous, the best thing for you to do is turn it into excitement, and then that way, then if, as you're going on, people are more hyped. Do you kind of have like um, a hype thing before you go on stage? Do you all get together and kind of and huddle, a, what, chant or something or whatever? Yeah, it's called, uh, it's called Heineken, isn't it? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's actually called Matilda. There are other yes, products available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What What is it like out on stage and in the studio? Um, yeah, I mean, they are very different, especially for yeah. myself. I love being in the studio, really. Yeah. That, that would be my, my preference. If I could be in the studio every day, I absolutely would. Um, because you can explore different arrangements and different timbres. And, yeah, it's just really interesting. But um, I'm probably guilty of not gigging enough. Yeah. So when this opportunity arose, I was like, well, I should throw myself into the, the realm of possibility with it and see how I feel about yeah. being back out gigging. And it is quite cool. I mean, the crowd last night were, were great. Um, so it's quite satisfying to see people being attentive and getting involved in the, in the music. So, yeah, it's been yeah. cool so far, yeah. Yeah. What about yourself, Ian? Um, I, they're two different beasts, really, yeah. for me. Like, you know what I mean? I, um, I would be definitely... I, well, personally, I feel I'd be better in a live situation. I would be in studio because I haven't done enough studio work yeah. to be. Now I'm doing my album at the moment. Right. Okay. Uh, it, I mean, from doing like kind of mini EPs, from doing singles and stuff. It's yeah. Your latest one is "Keep the Tape Rolling." Is yeah. That, which I like the title of. Yeah, yeah. Originally, it was actually called um, "Keep the Video" or "Keep Keep the Keep the Camera Rolling." Was actually <laughs> called, actually. Yeah, it was originally, and then someone said, "Well, keep the tape sounds better," so that was positive. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> and that, that was really good. Yourself. I love the studio work. Um, but I, I do prefer the live stage. I just love the, the, the energy in the room or maybe kind of experimenting with the energy you can create in the room, even the likes of last night and getting people involved and getting people singing or even if it's just a simple, you know, clap to the beat type of yeah. thing. But, you yeah, know, it, it's, it's great and every night is different. So I, I like that and I like being constantly on the move as well. So yeah. I don't like to be in one place for a long period of time. So I, I definitely prefer the stage. Yeah. I, I, I like to... to I, I really like any space I perform in, and, yeah. and once uh, once I get a, a, an attentive crowd, and I, I really don't I don't think about these things about dream venues. I really don't. I'm yeah. just kind of happy doing what I'm doing, and, and every so often uh, bring it up a step. And I think I've done that this year by doing the tour with the lads yeah. and, and put together a great tour. So yeah, you, you're always on the road anyway. Always you're on never road, after, yeah. you're that's never that's, that, that's very much an honest answer for me. Yeah. So, yeah. You know. yeah, well, that's kind of your aesthetic, isn't it? To embrace any crowd. And, yeah, and yeah, to keep yeah. Active, yeah. yeah. Which one of you is the laziest of them all? Ian. Ian. Jesus, no hesitation there. I'd go in, in terms well. of which, now, in terms of which. Everything. Laziness. Just, uh, what, are you la who's, la who's the laziest? No, I would Again, say that would be Ian. I yeah. wouldn't say so. Okay. I, it's definitely not me. I'm very asleep. You <laughs> <laughs> see, now, I do other stuff as well. Like, you know, we can't all be active. So these two lads are vampires. Right? <laughs> vampires. Well, we also uh, are engaged in the day, in the daylight. Yeah. yeah. I don't like the daylight very much. But I know you don't like this answer, but there has to be one of us. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I, I would disagree with that. I would disagree with On that. what grounds? Well, I'd say we're all fairly the same. But no, somebody has to be the most lazy sort of dreamer. Yeah. That's the way. That's the way it is. That's well then, isn't it? Like uh, it not thanks for your questions, Dara and Susan. <laughs> thanks, um, guys. Thank you. Uh, we're just going to finish up now. You're playing Monroe's Live um, on the 24th, which is tomorrow night. And um, everyone get yourselves down there. It's going to be a good show. The Back to Basics Tour is still in town. You can catch them um, as you're listening. They could be on Shop Street. So stop them on their social media. Uh, you can be all found on the social media, lads. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Ian, give us your details quick. Um, Facebook, Ian N. Brennan. Same with Twitter and Instagram. Right, okay. Or the Back to Basics Facebook page. Uh, GreatTruffordMusic.com uh, Yeah, that's, a, that's yeah, all right. Fair enough. And Barry? <laughs> BarryJHughes.com yeah, yeah, and you'll, you'll be directed then from, from there. I, I will meet you there and direct you as to what you need to do. <laughs> right, fair enough. If all else fails in the music business, he can be an air steward. Right, <laughs> lads. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks well a million for coming in, lads. Thanks it's been a pleasure having you on. Thank Thank you you Best of luck with the rest of the tour. All right, and for all their dates, you can go onto their Back to Basics tour uh, Facebook page, and you can get them all there. And you can see their videos and clips and past radio interviews, and this one hopefully. All the best, lads. Thanks a million. Cheers. See you Thanks, Chris. Bye. Bye. Like what you've heard here? Well, check out more interviews on, of course, my Mixcloud account, Chris Sherlock Show. And if you want to find out more, you can find me on Facebook simply by searching Chris Sherlock on the wireless.